Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. A circle with a radius equal to 1 is divided into 12 congruent regions as shown. What is the perimeter of a single region? I think Chan Lai Li, whose video explained the solution to this problem. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Let's label the three lengths of a single region. Label the long arc as having a length equal to A, the short arc as B, and the straight line segment as C. The circumference of a circle with the radius equal to 1 is equal to 2 pi. But we also know the circumference of the circle is equal to 6A. Therefore, 6A is equal to 2 pi, which means A is equal to 2 pi over 6. Now focus on the following arc. Its length is equal to a, but it's also equal to b plus b. Therefore, b is equal to a over 2, which is equal to pi over 6. a plus b is then equal to 3 pi over 6, which equals pi over 2. The perimeter of a single region is therefore equal to pi over 2 plus c. It remains to calculate the length c. Now let's focus on the following congruent regions and let's label some of the points. Notice that E, H, and G are equidistant from the points F and O. So they all lie along the perpendicular bisector of FO, which means they are collinear. Construct the chord E, H, G. Now, E, H is equal to E, G minus G, H. Furthermore, GFHO is a circular sector. So GF equals GH equals GO, and all of these are equal to 1. Therefore, GH is equal to 1. Let's now construct the following line segments. We are going to construct two equilateral triangles. We know they're equilateral triangles because OF is equal to OE and since we know the arc Fe is equal to 2 pi over 6 or pi over 3, we have a central angle FOE that's equal to pi over 3 or 60 degrees. Therefore, FOE is an isosceles triangle with a vertex angle equal to 60 degrees, which means it's an equilateral triangle. The same goes for OFG. Label the point K as the intersection of FO with EG. We know that OE is equal to 1 and EK bisects the equilateral triangle. So the shorter leg is equal to 1 half, and the height, or the longer leg, is equal to square root of 3 over 2. This is true for both EK and GK. So we have that EH is equal to square root of 3 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 minus 1, which is equal to the square root of 3 minus 1. Therefore, C is equal to the square root of 3 minus 1. This means the perimeter is equal to pi over 2 plus the square root of 3 minus 1, and that's approximately equal to 2.303. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.